What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. As many of you have already heard, Louis Marco made a video, and there's been a couple other videos about it and a lot of posts online. Yesterday, IFBB Pro Greg Kovacs passed away of heart failure. And immediately, I got some emails about, you know, Greg and heart failure and bodybuilders and steroids, specifically blaming steroids for Greg's death, saying, See, steroids are bad, they're going to kill you. So I figured I'd make this video to explain what the deal is and why Greg, Nasser Elson Body passed away this year, um, Luke Woods passed away not that long ago, Art Adwood not that long ago, excuse me, there was a bodybuilder named Curtis Leafler who passed away, Anthony DiRezzo, all these guys who are, you know, having issues with their heart and heart failure. Here's the real deal. Now, the common denominators are they all took gear. There's a lot of people taking gear out there, and they're not dropping dead of heart failure. And they're taking lots of stuff. Now, could it be a contributor? It very well could possibly. However, it's not to me, it's not what killed them. All of them were above 40 years old. Now, here's where the things start to seem similar. So if you start to do your detective work, all of them are of, of above 40 years old. All of them carried around the 300-pound-plus body weight. Okay? So this is another common denominator, 300 pounds plus, over 40 years old. Don uh, Youngblood, too, is one of these guys, around the 300-pound mark, and he passed away. And uh, the other common denominator, when you saw these guys, their faces looked like their blood pressure was through the roof. Now, I don't know for a fact, because I didn't test their blood pressures myself, but all these guys looked unhealthy due to the weight that they were carrying. Those three things, being over 40, being overweight, even though it's muscle, and the high blood pressure is what killed these guys. Lugging that weight around, you know, as a bodybuilder in general, your heart gets enlarged. You have an enlarged heart. The heart has to pump harder to pump blood through the muscle, and it, it hypertrophies. Your left ventricle hypertrophies. So you now have an enlarged heart. It doesn't function properly, okay? This happens, it's very, very common in people that lift weights. It's even more common in the guys that are bigger. And I myself, when I was in the hospital with pneumonia, they told me, hey, you have an enlarged heart. You know, so this is probably from, you know, they, it wasn't that bad, but they were like, it's enlarged, it's not normal. So it's something i got to be aware of through my life that, hey, you know what, I'm at risk, you know, as opposed to somebody who doesn't train with weights or who isn't that heavy. Now, I think what a lot of people forget is if you're walking around with 300 pounds on your frame, it doesn't matter whether it's 300 pounds of fat or 300 pounds of muscle, it's 300 pounds. Your heart and your body has to work harder, all your systems have to work harder to walk around with that body weight as opposed to somebody that's 200 pounds or 180 pounds. Now, a lot of the, the stuff that I've read lately indicates that walking around with 300 pounds of muscle may actually be worse for you than 300 pounds of fat. The muscle tissue is actually dense and has more capillaries, and it is harder to pump that muscle full of blood when you're getting a pump as opposed to the fat, and it is a lot more stressful on the heart. So now you have 300 pounds of muscle trying to pump and force more blood into those muscles constantly while you're working out, as opposed to the fat, which does have blood vessels and stuff in it, but it's not constantly getting pumped like it is in the gym. You know, different factors like hereditary factors, like genetic factors, whether or not they were prone to heart disease, whether they were prone to um, having heart attacks, maybe their dad died or their father or their grandfather died, somebody... In their history, fam their family history had heart issues. All really doesn't matter because these guys, when they, you know, Kovacs, he was known for being a 400 pound plus bodybuilder, like 410, 420 pounds at like 6'2 or 6'3. He really pushed the boundaries of size and strength in bodybuilding in the 90s. He was like one thing, Muscle Tech's one of Muscle Tech's first guys that they signed, and he was bench pressing like seven plates on the incline. You know, back in that, that time. And I remember looking at him and, like, you know, they couldn't find... I don't know where they found clothes to fit him, but I remember watching his video, Colossus, <clears throat> or Colossal. And he walks in the gym and he had to open both doors to get through the doors to get into the gym. And his wife was, like, putting on the weights and taking the weights off him, off of the machines and stuff for him. Because he couldn't fucking move. He couldn't breathe in between sets. He'd do a set and then he'd just almost fucking collapse because he was so big. And I mean, you know, he basically, to me, the way his body was, he had a form of gigantism 
induced by drugs, pretty much. He fucked himself up using so much drugs. And there's so many rumors out there as to what he took. And it really doesn't matter at this point. He did get plumbalism really fast for, you know, how long he was in the sport, which means he had to push the drugs to fuck his body up that bad. But the massive amounts of growth hormone, I think, really fucked with his heart. That's my personal opinion. So he had an enlarged heart. And, you know, after he retired from competition, which he wasn't doing well at all, he maintained that size. Like, these guys that try to maintain that 300-pound-plus size... I'm not, they're not being smart with this. It's not a good idea. It's hard for the body, period. When I talk to Cutler, he's trying to trim down. He doesn't want to carry that weight anymore. He f turned 40 years old this year. There's a reason why he doesn't want to carry that weight. It's not healthy. He doesn't feel good. I can guarantee you walking around at 300 pounds at 40 years old after doing it for 20 years, I guarantee you that his blood work will come back different than it does now. And he's got a clean bill of health right now, blood work-wise. So, guys, you know, it's... When you're young, it's all about, wow, I'm massive, gain massive, blah, blah, blah. I've been to 270 plus. It's not fun. It doesn't feel good. And I know I didn't have any blood work done then, but I know for a fact that I felt like shit. And there was no way that I was healthy then. You know, but as you get older, <clears throat> excuse me, the body can't take that beating anymore. The heart can't take the beating anymore. It can't take the stress that you put on it when you're younger. And you continue because your identity is now this physique. You're the big guy. You're the 300-pound-plus guy. You're the massive bodybuilder. And a lot of these guys can't not be that. You know, when Lavroni went off his all his drugs and stopped training, he lost a lot of weight. But he's confident enough in himself to just be himself. Where a lot of these guys retire and they can't do that. Sean Ray, Flex with all these guys are not what they were before. They're maintaining like 220, 230. And Flex is taller, so he's like 240. You know, Sean Ray's maybe like 200 pounds. You know, Lee Labrada, he's like probably 200 pounds. Dorian Yates, maybe 230. You know, they come down in weight as they retire and get older due to the fact that they don't want to have those health issues. So be aware, guys. It's not steroids, per se, that killed Greg Kovacs. Yes, it had a hand in it. But taking too much Advil for 25 years on a regular basis probably would have killed him faster. And that's perfectly legal on the market for any 8-year-old to buy him that has $10 in their pocket. And it is definitely trying to maintain that mass and put that stress on the body that is killing these bodybuilders. BioStreetTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biostreetraining.com is the blog. R.I.P. Greg Kovacs. And we're out.